Okay, so question number two. Is dichloromethane, which has the formula CH2Cl2, polar or nonpolar? Explain. Okay, so first let's draw out the Lewis structure for this molecule. And to do so, we just need to calculate the total number of valence electrons. Okay, so carbon has four valence electrons. Hydrogen has one. And since we have two hydrogen atoms, we multiply this by two. And finally, chlorine has seven. And again, we multiply seven by two. And when we add these values up, we get a total of 20 valence electrons. So now we can try to draw out a skeletal structure where carbon is our central atom. Uh, since it's able to form uh, multiple bonds, and we can draw single bonds to our hydrogens and our chlorines. Okay. And we can also show all of the lone pairs on our chlorine atoms. Okay, so if we recall that one bond contains two bonding electrons, uh, then, and we have eight, uh, so we have four bonds and eight bonding electrons, and each chlorine atom has six electrons in the form of lone pairs. Uh, so let's add them up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14. Okay, so our structure contains the 20 valence electrons, so we knew we drew a correct Lewis structure. So now we just need to determine if any of the bonds in our molecule is polar or nonpolar. So to do that, we need to calculate for the difference in electronegativity. So first, let's do carbon and hydrogen to see if these bonds are, pol are polar. Okay, so the electronegativity value of carbon is 2.5, and for hydrogen, it's 2.1. So if we subtract the two, we end up with a difference of only 0 0.4. So therefore, the carbon hydrogen bond is nonpolar. And we know that because its difference in electronegativity is equal to 0 0.4. So now let's calculate the electronegativity difference between carbon and chlorine. So chlorine's electronegativity value is 3, carbon's is 2.5, so the difference is 0 0.5. So therefore, the carbon-chlorine bond is polar. And this is since our electronegativity value is greater than 0 0.4, but less than 1.69. So since we know that chlorine is polar, we can draw dipole moments going towards the direction of the chlorine, like so. And since our hydrogens aren't electronegative enough to balance out these dipole moments, we have a non-zero dipole moment that kind of looks like this. So I'll say up here, we have a non-zero dipole moment in the molecule.
So therefore, dichloromethane is polar. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. We may look at this through different bond angles. The first is the electronegativity difference of the component atoms or the symmetry of the molecule. Using the difference in electronegativity, the carbon-hydrogen bond is considered nonpolar, so 0 0.35 while the carbon-chlorine bond is considered polar. Yeah, so they had a much different electronegativity value for the chlorine, and you can see that its difference is around 6 point, 0.61. It just depends on which reference you use. Uh, so they drew out the Lewis structure, uh, and they found that the molecule wasn't symmetrical, therefore, Dichloromethane is polar. Okay, so this solution is correct. Great answer.